Listen to your heart is addictive and fun. Woo! And for these single musicians, can't see anything going wrong. Just two episodes into the Bachelor presence, listen to your heart. A major bombshell has already been dropped on one couple. Jamie and Trevor found their way to each other on the first night, and Jamie quickly abandoned her other prospect, Ryan, to give Trevor her rouse. But while Jamie and Trevor were then on a date, where Jamie confessed to him that she had been cheated on in every relationship she had had, a newcomer arrived at the mansion. Natasha Bassez came in with a bang, quickly deducing that the Trevor who was on a date was the same Trevor who had dated her friend, and therefore the same Trevor who had cheated on her friend. She told the whole group about this and then immediately, though privately, confronted Trevor when he and Jamie got back from their date. He admitted to emotional cheating, though no physical cheating, and to having done some lying in that relationship, and Natasha hoped he would tell Jamie what actually happened while Jamie was already finding out from some of the other girls in the house. Trevor did end up explaining to Jamie what had happened, and she still accepted his rose, but it sounds like the story is absolutely not over, especially if you ask Natasha herself. Trevor was hoping Natasha would head home without a rose, but she got one from none other than Ryan, so for now she's here to stay, and she's not holding back her thoughts on American Idol's Trevor. Read our chat with her below. E. News, so what were your thoughts as you entered that house? Natasha, you know, it's crazy because I genuinely was a little bummed. I was like, God, this sucks. Like everyone already is getting to know each other, everyone is forming friendships, relationships, Terry's like a clique going on. It's like I walked in as like the kid the first day of school being like, oh my god, what the hell am I walking to it? No idea. It's like I was nervous, but oh my god, guys, it's gonna be so exciting. I get to talk to everyone. And then I get the news that someone that I know is there and I was like, Oh, no, you know, and that's kind of when everything goes down. How did you realize who Trevor was so quickly, since you didn't have a face or a last name? It was pretty quick. No, it was just genuinely like. It's kind of one of those things that you're like, this cannot be. It can't be this guy, right, you know? And they're like, it is. And I'm like, stop, she told us over the phone. It was kind of one of those moments like, unbelievable, like, yeah, and then at that point, I was like, well, I know his ex-girlfriend, like, here we go, you know. It was just shocking to me that he would be on the show. And I was like, oh, God, like, what are the odds, you know. Did you think at all about not immediately jumping into this drama? How did you decide how to handle it? Well like I would in any situation. I'm very much of a defender. So like, if someone does something wrong to someone that I love and care for, I'm going to have their back and I'm going to be there to be like, look, what you did is not cool. And I don't just kind of sit back and sit pretty. That's just not my personality. I'm very much like, what you did, let's just get it out and over with as opposed to pretending like nothing happened. Because, like, imagine me hanging around him and not saying anything, I would have just been like, passive-aggressive towards him and just been like, yeah, like, that's just not what I want to do or who I am like, I want it to be super open, like, dude, I know who you are, I know what you've done. I know, you know, the things that you've been doing. And I think it's not cool that you're in a house on a dating show trying to do potentially the same thing to these women that are here. You know, we all are here to find love. And we deserve a solid chance at that, you know, a real chance at that and the fact that you're coming in here with the kind of ways you've played women in the past, it just doesn't look good. And I feel like the woman that is interested in you should know the truth about it and then let her make the decision at the end of the day, instead of being deceived or not knowing what she was getting into. I just wanted to make sure that the truth was out in the open and it was clear with everyone and it wasn't like hey he said she said. It was like super clear, everyone knows, it comes straight from the source. You know, 
I know this situation, what has done, how it went down. I just I think it's just not fair to anyone for them to not know the truth. And then once they know, you know, it sits on them to make the best decisions for themselves. Everyone is allowed their own journey and we will see, you know, what those decisions are as the show goes on, which is exciting to see. What did you think of how your talk with Trevor went? I was shocked to be honest. I can't handle that you know. I think we've all kind of been there where we're kind of cornering a guy at one point in our lives. You know, we're like, um hum, I know what you did, or you find out something, and they're like, no, 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 I didn't do this. And I was like, dude, I have the receipts. I know what you did. Don't BS me, you know, I'm not here to be played with. I'm just here to make it clear. And it was so upsetting that he like couldn't give me what I really wanted to hear, you know? He admitted to emotional cheating and then claimed he didn't say that and then admitted he did. He was talking in a lot of circles. Dot I cannot. I mean, I mean, it's like we know as women the red flags we've seen in the past from our relationships. I mean, I'm 33 years old. I've been through guys that I've been like that, that have been dishonest that have been trying to cover up tracks, that are trying to be like, no, I didn't, but yes I did, it's like, dude, just cut the BS. Just the fact that he wasn't giving it to me straight even upset me more. I was like, okay, now I know I can't trust you. Now I know for a fact that you're full of crap. I'm all about about someone wanting to be better, wanting to grow, saying, you know what, I did do this, and I messed up and it was dumb and I shouldn't have and you know what, I'm going to do better and it's not going to go like that. It's not going to happen like that with this situation now, because I've learned from it, but instead he was like, no, 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 I didn't, well okay, maybe I did. Well, it's like, dude, I know what you did. Don't try and play me. Like him the last person that you're going to try and get by. You can manipulate some of the other women in the house, but it is not gonna happen with me. So let's get to the point. You know, I think it might have caught him off guard a little. Read. Meet the single musicians looking for love on The Bachelor Presents, listen to your heart. Were you surprised that after Jamie and Trevor talked, they still seemed fine? I was not surprised, to be honest. I totally understand where she's coming from in the sense of she is calling for this guy, you know. She thinks Hess Prince charming. Hess laying it on thick. Hess really giving her all the things she's looking for in that romantic way. Their chemistry is strong. Hess adorable. Like I get it, you know, it's all easy to fall for. But, you know, here I am, a girl she doesn't know, coming in and saying something she doesn't want to hear. I totally understand how she could interpret it as to like, oh, my god, I don't know what to do. But I'm still going to go for what my first gut was, to see through. Everyone has to go on their own journey and everyone has to see things for themselves. You can tell someone whatever you think is best for them. But if they don't make that decision for themselves, there is nothing you can do besides let them take that journey. And, you know. Well see what kind of decision she makes going forward. Have you talked to Trevor's ex since the show? How did she react? I have yeah, I have. When I got off the show, when when we finished filming she was the first person that I was like, girl, you do not know what just happened, what I've been through, and she's like, I cannot believe it. I'm like, you know, it's shocking to me. She's like, I can't believe Hess on this show. She's like, I knew he was dating girls right before he got on the show. This is crazy to me. And I'm like I the things that are coming out now, post filming are way worse than what I even thought was going on. You know, I only knew what was really happening between him and her after their breakup. But now knowing that there is so many other women coming forward kind of talking about what had happened between him and and then it's just like mind blowing. 
Toy dang tao ram nok ma toy chu about jio lam tu a day. Cho va toy dang viet dung yu kai tu keen in heim. Du la koch toy ni rang mo nok si vi died walk since rock hai bang koch song, train heim, kam yun, the hien. Va be jio toy ko tan ka dung thu du da tao ram nok ma toy tuk sum yuan tao ra va toy se som fat han dung thu siun yan va toy kong the cho doi mon yan dai dung mon gep ku tre tim yin. Dot the bachelor presence, lang re tim ku a ban fat song val thu hai lu ke jio toy tren abc. Listen to your heart is addictive and fun. Woo! And for these single musicians, I can't see anything going wrong. 